Welcome back to Studio 33 Art by Kay. Today I'm working on a different design, something that I've had in my head for a little while. Um, so what I'm planning on doing, this is a 15 centimeter by 15 centimeter ceramic tile. I'm going to be making a couple of um, larger coasters. I quite like large coasters. And I'm going to be doing a patchwork pattern. So I'm not going to be um, spinning off too much so I don't want to put too much paint on so I'm not going to lay down a base what I want to do is stripes of color this way so horizontally and then stripes of color vertically then I'm going to use white cell activator to swipe over it to bring up the cells and then I'm going to be doing some um, lines some riffing lines going from corner to corner and then back the other way then little balloon kisses so let's see how this is going to turn out i really don't know but i'd like to give it a go so welcome along for the ride today i've got here global ultraviolet so i just want to do a line so it's about I guess is that a centimetre and a half wide. Make sure I cover the edge there as well. Then I'm going to be putting down the global turquoise. About the same distance. Now I haven't measured this to see if I'm going to get all my colours down or not. But we'll see. Bit of trial and error as we go. So just relax. Hopefully you've got a cup of coffee and you can sit here without having to fast forward through. Just relax and enjoy the process here today. Global green. We all always seem to be in such a rush, don't we? And it's nice just to sit down sometimes. That's what I love in the mornings. What I do is I get up, make my breakfast and sit down and put on YouTube and see who's posted a video overnight or maybe that morning. And that's what I do for about an hour every morning. Global cool blue. Of course I can because I'm um, retired now. Some, most of you, a lot of you might be racing to go to work. or. But I know I've got a few retirees watching me here as well. So hopefully this gives you a great start to your day too. And now I've got the global cool yellow. I will list all these colors in the drop down box, the description box, which you get to by hitting the clicking, not hitting, clicking on the title of this video, unless you're on your smart TV and that won't take you there. Global Cool Red, looks like that yellow was quite thick actually. So it's kind of a rainbow, but I haven't really stop to think about whether I've got the colours of the rainbow in here or not. And I may even have colours together that might um, muddy up together as well. So global orange. What causes your colours to muddy is if you've got any combination of the three primary colours. So you might have a secondary colour and a primary colour that makes up the three that will give you mud. So if you've got, say, um, green, which is made up of blue and yellow, and you've got that with a red, you're going to end up, if they mix together, with a mud or a brown sort of colour. But sometimes they don't um, mix together, so that's okay too. Right, so we're going okay here. Now I was going to put the colours through um, 
the other way as well. But what I'll do, because I don't want to lay too much paint down because I, I don't want to um, spin this out too much, I'll just run some of the other colours just sort of through. I won't do them as thick. I'll just do some little squiggles. So that when I do the swipe, those colours can come through still. Whoops. They both did it at the same spot. It's looking very colourful anyway, if nothing else. Just make sure you've got your edges covered. So then you don't have to worry about covering them later. The paint will run off and cover the edges anyway, but sometimes you end up with a little spot that's got nothing on it. Okay, um, so I didn't do a purple squiggle. Maybe a bit here. Um, and turquoise squiggle. And the orange one's disappeared, so I'll just do it. Okay, that'll do. Right, now do I want some gold in there? Probably. I've always got to have a little bit of gold. You don't have to, but I like to. Rightio. So now I'm going to take my trusty spatula, which has still got paint on it from my previous pour. So wipe that off, make sure it's clean. And I'm going to use this to do my swipe because that will swipe over the whole thing um, in one swoop. So I'm just going to lay the paint. Now this is the um, Amsterdam. Ox, uh, oxide, Amsterdam Titanium White, mixed with Australian Flow Troll, approximately one to four. So I mix it so that when I'm drizzling the, the paint back off the stick back into the little tub, it bounces back onto the stick after about four seconds. Okay, so there you have it. And this is all trial and error, guys. You know, I just put it on and give it a go. So let's hope we get some beautiful cells. Fingers crossed. Oops, I think I need to bring that down right to the edge there. Just a bit worried that it won't get all the way to the edge, so better have too much than not enough. Right, here we go. And here come the cells. Lovely. This would be really nice with the black cell activator as well, actually. There we go. So that's wiped off a bit of the paint anyway. And look at that. Ooh, gorgeous. Okay, so we'll just wipe that off. Always try and wipe off the um, implements you're using as you go, and that way it's easy when you go to clean up later. Right, oh, I love that. Oh, that's so beautiful. Do I really want to wreck it now? Yes, you do. I'll just take a photo of that. And now I'll just hit it with the heat tool just to bring up any more cells or burst any bubbles. Now you can save your baking paper, which I've used here. Um, and any runoff like this, you can let dry. And people do use that for jewellery and so on. I haven't done that yet. And I sort of haven't really got a place to dry those things off. I, I need to get better organised, actually. Because it would be really cool to be able to, um, you know, keep some of those as skins. And then use them for something else later. So now what I'm doing is I've got a skewer. It's just a bamboo skewer. And I'm going to use the flat end. And actually, I'm going to, not gonna. When I'm listening back to my videos, I hear myself say gonna all the time. And I've got my dad sitting on my shoulder going, going to, not gonna. So I'm going to do these lines 
across diagonally and I hope I will be I'll do that one from there to there first and it's not going to be dead straight because I'm just freehand doing it so you know how, how steady is your hand probably not oh yeah got to there that's okay <laughs> so then I'll come down to the next bit hands not too bad at all I just love these wrecking lines. And now up here. Not doing too bad. Okay, now what I want to do is go diagonally across this way. So I'll do it from corner to corner first again. I'm glad I put that gold in there, it's just lovely. And the combinations of these colours in here. A bit excited about this one actually. I was telling my eldest daughter today, she's actually um, an author. She's just put out her third book. And um, we were talking about this today, just saying how I said to her how I use the gold all the time. And she said, oh, it's fine, Mum. If that's what you like, do it. Oh, just even looking at that, that is beautiful. Look at these here. Mm. Now I'm going to do little balloon kisses in there. So I'll just take another photo. And now I'm just going to do these tiny little balloon kisses. I'm glad I've taken a photo of that because, and the thing about taking photos, if you take a photo as you go, then um, you've got a photo that you can always keep. You can even get it blown up huge. You can get it blown up to a meter by a meter, send it away to one of these um, photographic companies. Um, so even if it hasn't turned out and it's all gone to heck and you've scraped it, if you've still got photos of what you've done along the way, then you can still have that blown up so you've never lost it forever. So I'm just going to do some little balloon kisses in the squares. I think that's going to be too big, that one. I've got a little one that's deflated itself, so I'll, I'll try that. I'll just go here first. Just a tiny little kiss in there. I don't want to wreck up my lines too much. Probably should have done my lines a bit wider. I think I'm just going to um, actually use my finger here. Yeah, that's pretty. I think I was intending that the squares would be bigger. So I could do a little balloon kiss, but this is fine as well. That line. They're really pretty. So I'll just speed this bit up for you guys. Um, and put on some music while I finish doing my little finger pops. And we'll come back in a moment. lost the wrecking line through there somewhere but I don't think that matters 
It's the overall feel of the thing that's the... Uh, it doesn't have to be perfect little squares. Because it's abstract art after all. Now, um, Julie Cube always says when you're doing your balloon work, sometimes it's a good idea to walk away and come back in 20 minutes. Um, once the paint's, paint's sort of dried a bit, because otherwise they do tend to fall in on each other. So I might just leave that for a sec um, and come back. But that is looking really beautiful. I'm really loving that, particularly here where we've got the colours um, coming together with the red and the yellow and the white. Over here we've got more of the purple and then the green in here. So they're looking really pretty. And over here it's just sort of the purples and the um, turquoise. So you could actually lay the paints down with just a normal drizzle and have, um, which I will do one like that as well, not right now, but instead of doing the stripes and then just a bit of a drizzle, you could actually do a whole drizzle, just drizzling all the colours together and then you'd get more of them sort of looking like this and this here rather than um, where the purple stripe was obviously there um, and the green was through here. It would give you more of a, a mishmash of colours which would be lovely too. So very different. Okay, so we'll be back shortly um, with a close-up after I've let that dry a bit. Okay, well here we are back again. It's been about 20 minutes and I've let the paint sit there. So I've done the little um, finger pops again and I've also drawn in the um, like the diagonal lines again. They're going a little bit muddy um, because I've used all the colours of the rainbow. You could do one of these using a lot less um, colours. You could just use, you know, three or four colours. It would work really well too. Um, and as you can see, I did the, had the purple and then I had the um, turquoise, then the green. You can see the, the blue, uh, the yellow and the orange uh, and the purple and, of course, the turquoise again. So you can see the stripes that I had in there. And then, of course, I mixed it in with the um, all the little wiggly lines of all the other colours and the gold too. So I'll take you down a bit closer. I love this. I think this is really something to be worked on. And um, I think you might see me do a few more of these. You can see there where the cells from the white cell activator came through. And on these pieces here as well. So it just looks lovely. That's something really different, guys, I think. I haven't seen anyone else do this, but I'm sure someone has. Um, but I'm loving that. And yeah, I'm excited to try um, doing some more like it. So if you like that, guys, if you could give me a like, please, um, that would be great. And if you haven't subscribed, if you could subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. So looking forward to seeing you all here back very soon. Bye-bye. Thank you.